Hi guys, welcome to the first iOS programming tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a table view and populate data in that table view. So here we're going to start up Xcode and create a new project. So we're going to select empty application, start from scratch. You can call your project anything, I'm going to call mine fruit table. I'm going to be populating fruit information in my table and select use automatic reference counting. Click next and save your project. So the first thing we want to do is create, create a user interface for our project. So we're going to create a new file and create a storyboard. Select iPhone, select Fruit Storyboard, and save. So this creates the storyboard file. I'm going to drag it in there. Now we just need to um, select that this is the main storyboard. Save that. Before we start, we need to remove these three lines of code. Because when you have storyboards, it automatically sets the root view controller, so you do not need to set up um, the main screen when Xcode runs. So when, now we go back to our storyboard, and we're going to drag and drop the table view controller into our storyboard. So if we now we run the project, we should see that table view with empty rows. There we go. Here's the table view. Nothing too interesting. But we'll put some data in there to populate it now. So the next thing we have to do is create a, a view controller for this table view. So we go into new file. Now we need to subclass UI table view controller because this is a table view. Create that file. Now we need to create the instance variable to store the information that's going to be pop that's going to populate the table view. So we declare an NS mutable array. Now we go into our implementation file. You'll notice that it imports our header file automatically through table view controller. And now we take the instance variable that we just declared and we put some data into it.
here's a list of 11 items to populate our table view. So there's many methods that we need to implement to be able to populate data on our table view. One of them being number of sections in table view. So this outlines how many sections are in this table view. So for this application, it's only going to be one section, so we return one. The next method that we need to implement is table view number of rows in section. So in our case, there's going to be 11 items, but we need to get that dynamic number from our fruit names variable. So to get the number of items in the fruit names array, we go fruit underscore names count. And this gets the number of items in that array. The next method we need to implement is table view cell for row at index path. And what this does is it basically draws the table view, table cells onto the screen one by one. The index path is the index of that cell being drawn at that time. The first line here basically identifies the cell. And we're going to call ours fruit cell. So this is the unique identifier for these types of cells. And now we're going to go into the storyboard. So where we've declared fruit cell, we need to outline that in our storyboard. So under our reuse identifier, we just type in fruit cell. Click save. Going back into our implementation file. The second item is trying to reuse cells that are not on the screen for better memory management. So if we're able to reuse cells that are currently on the screen before they're deallocated, it's more optimal. However, if we're not able to reuse cells, we have to allocate new ones. So we need to check if cell if we're not able to reuse the cell, we need to create a new one. So if cell is nil, create new table view cell. And we have to make sure that, that when we create it, we create it with the same reuse identifier as above. Okay. And now once we have the instance of that cell, we want to set the label property of that cell. And the way we do that is we go back to our fruit names variable. And for this index path, this item in, that's being drawn onto the table view, we get that index from the fruit names variable. So we're drawing the first cell onto the screen, it's going to get the first element in the fruit names variable. If we're drawing the second cell onto the screen, it's going to get the banana variable variable um, name. If we drawing the third cell onto the table view, it's going to get cantaloupe. This is basically what this line is doing. So we implemented all the methods to be able to draw this list of fruits onto the screen. Now one more thing we have to do is go back into our storyboard and we have to identify this table view with using a table view controller. So we need to select our fruit table view controller class. Click save. Now if we build and run this, we should be able to see those list of fruits in that table view.
there we go. You see the whole list of fruits onto the table here. And this is dynamically being generated from this list that we've declared. So now you know how to create a table view and populate data on that table view. The next lessons that I'm going to do are around customizing how these table view cells look like. And you can get this in my next tutorial. Thanks for tuning in.